Our naturalist Mark Frazier is back with us this week to take us on an adventure into spring to experience the wonderful sights and sounds of nature coming to life. On today's nature walk, I'm trying to look for nuthatches. These are really cool birds that kind of work up and down on the side of the bark of the trees. They have really interesting habits as they look for food. At first, I wasn't sure what was messing around in this nest pile, but it turns out to actually be the adorable little chickadee. You can clearly see where they get the name from. Their call has that unique chickadee dee dee sound, so it's a perfect name for the species. Little birds like this move very fast, and it's tough to film them, especially if you want to see what they're eating, so you really need to be patient. But after a while, I started to appreciate exactly what they were doing. It turns out they were actually finding food by stripping into the fibers of this brush. And little by little, they could get to larvae of different insects that were actually hidden in the woods. See that? Just fantastic. Nearby, I finally find a nuthatch. That low pent sound that you hear, that pant pant, that's very common with this species. This is the white-breasted nuthatch, an awesome bird. It actually kind of looks similar to a chickadee, but it's a little bit more plump. The nuthatches have the amazing ability to run up and down the side of the tree like this. It's incredible when you think about it. Now to find the red-breasted nuthatch, we'll look in a different spot. You need to be near conifer trees. And after a few minutes, we get our first look at this incredible cousin to the white-breasted nuthatch. They have similar habits in that they'll eat seeds in the wintertime to make up their insect diet that they normally eat during the summertime. An interesting fact about the name nuthatch, it's actually a misnomer. It was derived incorrectly from the word nuthack. And this came from a field description of the way they had that behavior of gathering seeds. But personally, I like the term nuthatch. It seems to really go with the species. Now I've heard talk from some folks that red-breasted nuthatches will actually visit the bird feeder, but I've only seen that myself with white-breasted nuthatches. Now I don't generally think of the nuthatches as big singers, but something amazing happened while I was watching this particular nuthatch. He started to sing just non-stop, almost like an Elvis Presley of the nuthatch environment. Whether defending a territory or looking for love, this was one amazingly vocal red-breasted nuthatch. 